Is it time to buy or sell SQQQ ETF? In this video, we're diving deep into SQQQ. Our initial report was published on our website on Wednesday, April 12, 2023, and now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since March 14, 2023, our system has ranked SQQQ as a sell candidate, giving it a score of minus 1.51. Let's take a look at the stock's performance during this period. The stock experienced a loss of minus 15.40%. This translates to an average loss of minus 0.73% per day since it was listed as sell candidate. The ETF lies in the middle of a very wide and falling trend in the short term and further fall within the trend is signaled. The current 3-month trend suggests a potential minus 23.94% change over the next 3 months, with a possible return between minus 32.85% and minus 9.80%. As for the 12-month trend, it suggests a minus 20.40% change over the next 12 months, with a potential return between minus 39.83% and 37.09%. This translates to a price range of $19.07 to $43.44 after a year. Our latest daily update for SQQQ includes the headline, SQQQ ETF price up 2.62% on Wednesday. The SQQQ ETF price gained 2.62% on the last trading day, Wednesday, April 12, 2023, rising from $30.88 to $31.69. It has now gained three days in a row. It will be exciting to see whether it manages to continue gaining or take a minor break for the next few days. During the last trading day the ETF fluctuated 5.71% from a day low at $30.14 to a day high of $31.86. The price has risen in 6 of the last 10 days but is still down by minus 5.54% for this period. Volume has increased on the last day along with the price, which is a positive technical sign, and, in total, 57 million more shares were traded than the day before. In total, 145 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $4.59 billion. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of ETF was $69.55 and the lowest price was $29.18. Currently, the price is 54.44%, or $37.86, below the 52-week high, and 96.08%, or $776.78, below the all-time high on March 12, 2020, when the price reached $808.47. The following signals have been identified for SQQQ. A buy signal was issued from a pivot bottom point on Friday, March 31, 2023, and so far it has risen 7.94%. Further rise is indicated until a new top pivot has been found. Furthermore, there is a buy signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence MACD. Volume is rising along with the price. This is considered to be a good technical signal. Some negative signals were issued as well, and these may have some influence on the near short-term development. The SQQQ ETF holds a buy signal from the short-term moving average, at the same time, however, the long-term average holds a general sell signal. Since the long-term average is above the short-term average there is a general sell signal in the ETF giving a more negative forecast for the stock. On further gains, the ETF will meet resistance from the long-term moving average at $34.96. On a fall, the ETF will find some support from the short-term average at $30.48. A breakup through the long-term average will give another buy signal, while a fall below the short-term average will add another sell signal and strengthen the general signal. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, buy signal. Pivots, buy signal 8 days ago. Bollinger, buy signal 17 days ago. Short-term moving average, buy signal 6 days ago. Long-term moving average, sell signal 22 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. By signal 18 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see. 
Short moving average, buy signal 2 days ago. The long term moving average, sell signal 65 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. Buy signal 60 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for SQQQ SQQQ finds support from accumulated volume at $30.88 and this level may hold a buying opportunity as an upwards reaction can be expected when the support is being tested. This ETF may move much during the day, volatility, and with a large prediction interval from the Bollinger Band this ETF is considered to be high risk. During the last day, the ETF moved $1.72 between high and low, or 5.71%. For the last week, the ETF has had daily average volatility of 4.4%. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for SQQQ. In case of an upward trend, the first resistance level for SQQQ is at $33.01. If you don't own any shares, you may want to wait for this level to be breached before entering a position. For those already holding the stock, this could be a level to consider for swing trading. On the downside, SQQQ encounters its first support level at $30.88. If this support level holds, it could be a good entry point, anticipating a rebound. We have a negative evaluation for this ETF and no stop loss has been set. Is SQQQ ETF a good buy? SQQQ holds several negative signals and we believe that it will still perform weekly in the next couple of days or weeks. We, therefore, hold a negative evaluation of this ETF. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day, our systems find that the current price is overvalued. For trading on Thursday, April 13th, we expect SQQQ to open down $0.460 and start trading at $31.23. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information, you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the ETF? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and have a beautiful day with regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.